you have a prepaid call from an inmate at Go, California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. Okay, my name is Jimmy, Jimmy Hogue. I'm from Eastside San Jose. I'm uh, from the North Bay. And uh, I just want to shoot, shoot out to all you guys out there, man, all you, all your own boys and own girls. And uh, they know that uh, there's a better future ahead of you if you only take heed to the warning. Um, I was out partying one night, and uh, when I was partying, it was North Daniel party. We, we all gathered up, and, and um, some people rolled up. Some people rolled up beside our car, and, and um, beside a car of my own boys, and, and started shooting at the car. And, and um, my own girl got shot. She was pregnant. She was 17 years old. And um, after that, my own boy Chilo, he, he got busted. And, and he, he got he got convicted and, and did a term. And when he, he he lost his mind when he was in the joint because that was his old lady. And he um he ended up catching a life sentence behind it behind his feelings towards her towards losing her and his kid. And um I just want to shoot out to all you guys and let you know that it, there's there's got to be a better way besides the lifestyle we live. You know what I mean? There's got to be a better future ahead of us if we only take heed to that. You know. I should have told you guys and let you guys know, man, that, that if, you could, if you could recognize the, the real behind the truth, you, 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 you'd be better off, you know. And uh, it has to do with my, another homeboy of mine that was in San Quentin with me. He, uh, he rolled with the, with the, with the cars all his life, and, and uh, when he was in San Quentin, he, uh, he, uh, he was needing no good, and he had, to, he had to put in work. And when he had to put in the work, he put in the work to find himself worthy of the cause again. And uh, after he was done putting in work, then they, they, uh, they smashed on him anyways, and they disciplined him anyways, and they they, uh, they, they almost killed him. And, and uh, they went to his family on the streets, and they shot his, shot his old lady in the head, killed her. And uh, so that's the life I live, you know what I mean? I, I mean, it's fucked up, but that's the life I live, you know? Uh, we all we always gotta worry about our family too, you know. In this lifestyle behind the walls, it it, it, it goes out behind, it reaches out behind the walls. From behind the walls, it reaches out to the to society out there. And the society out there don't accept us as as people, you know. They accept us as savages, you know. And and and, and the, the fucked up thing about it, man, is is we call ourselves savages. You know what I mean? We call ourselves. Uh, People that don't, that don't, that don't deserve to live in society. You know what I mean? You know, you know, we we, we, uh, we accept that. You know, it's, it's not cool to accept that. Uh, you know, it's not cool at all to accept the fact that society already deems us no good. You know what I mean? Society deems us no good. So education, as far as education wise, and, and behind the walls, it's good to get your education. I never, I never got to do a debriefing process or anything like that, right? But I know what gangs do to a person, you know what I'm saying? I know that a gang, gangs destroy lives, you know what I'm saying? And I know that I'm not, I'm not part of it anymore, but I'm still part of it in a way because I can't let it go, you know what I'm saying? So in the struggle of, 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 of not letting it go and, and letting it go, where, where am I, where, where do I grasp onto after that? You know what I'm saying? Where do I, where do I hold on to? Who do I go to? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Who do I go to? To, 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 uh, do I go to a, to a, to a faith base? Do I, do I go to a private organization? Do I go to uh, uh, people that have experience with just really getting out of the prisons? And, and, uh, I got into it on the streets because of the gangs, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got I got hit, I got stabbed when, you know, fighting for what I believed in, you know what I'm saying? I want to reach out for, for that reason, you know what I'm saying? For that reason, I want to reach out to the youngsters and let them know that there's a better way, you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm still caught up in my own, my own, my own selfish desires, you know, and, and my own selfish desires need to be, need to be in a certain way, you know, that, it, nothing exists with the gang, you know, and and now I, I I need to find a way to where I could reach them, where I could I could be comfortable in my own skin, so so that I could reach them and, and 
direct manner, you know what I'm saying? And instead of it being indirect, you know? And, and I don't want anybody to misinterpret what I'm talking about because everybody has everybody has their own reasons why they join gangs and, and they, you know, my reasons for joining gangs was because my family wasn't there and, and, and I needed to grasp onto something that wasn't there. You know, I wanted that love. I wanted that, we call it cariño. We call it love, you know, from, from our street gangs or from, from the people we hang out with. They, you know, yeah, like the, the north and the south, you know, the Nuestra Raza was a branch off of the north and you know, when the North and South, they, they gathered, they always clashed, you know, and, and they, uh, they gangbanged against each other, you know, and uh, now you got it, and the older, and older things, is, nowadays it's called the uh, Southern United Raza, North Raza, and uh, they're enemies, you know, and uh, it goes on, it goes on to suppressing our families, and they, they go and they get you at, at a vulnerable time in your life when your family's vulnerable, and accepted to their to their nonsense, you know. And uh, this call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. They go on the under tip, you know, and try to if you have a Sally that's that's from the opposition gang, or if you have a Sally that's working with them on the unders, they copy down your addresses in your in your cell, and they um they try and um uh go and suppress your family. You know, they 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 call them up and they tell them that that um they owe them money and. And, and that if they don't pay them a certain amount of money, then they're gonna they're gonna um, kill them or they're gonna stab them or and that's in here, you know, and it filters out to out there in the streets, you know, and um, so my my clashings with the Southern United Raza and the Nuestra Raza, you know, I was part of the Nuestra Raza and and uh, and um, it's it's not a gang, it's an organization that that um, recruits troops everlasting, you know what I'm saying, and. Uh, so uh, I mean, if there's anything I can help help out with or anything like that, I like to help out with it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I believe I believe in one way now, and that's that's for correction. You know what I mean? To correct my old attitude and, and to, to be to be put back on track. You know, for for uh, any anything that I may cause may have caused in the past to be uh, to be uh, as a, as a, an act of treason. You know what I mean? Against the gangs. You know. But also, I want to, I want to, I want to filter and let and not, that the gangs know that that um, I'm no longer worthy of the cause. You know what I'm saying? That I'm worthy of my own cause now. You know, and that's and as for helping out any anybody that I can help out, it's not put. It's not. It doesn't have that proper knowledge. You know that that they need to, to escape the gangs. You know, my only my only will to survive is instrumental to my heart sometimes I, I can only I can only think about the viciousness I caused in my life I, the vicious ways the stealing the killing the sounds of the screaming screams yelling at night I, I, I reminisce I, I sit there all alone in my thoughts and I hear the screams and the cries of older men or younger men getting raped in prison getting their manhood taken getting their their will to getting their manhood stripped from them, uh, getting beat up, uh, the scars were left untouched inside and outside, the scars that are unseen. It's a hard life, it's a struggle. I don't know what to do sometimes. It's just being a North I guess. I guess it's the life I chose. I will to survive is cold. I see the gunner watching me overhead, making sure I don't kill somebody. It takes from my soul. I I don't want to I don't want to really put too much more on it, but I I want to say that being a North Daniel and living this life I chose is something that you could avoid to do. If you only pay attention to the people that are around, that are around you, they don't want to accept the change in your heart. They want you to survive. They want you to do right. They want you to do the things that they want to do. But be aware of your surroundings at all times because the wicked, the wickedness stays within you. You have your own choices to make. 
take heed of the choices you make. Don't break the steel chains unless you're ready to gain. Nathaniel, if it's hardcore Nathaniel, Jimmy Lynn Hulk Jr., hardcore, he started signing on. I want you to know, man, that there's a better way. It's not being a Nathaniel. It's not, it's not being a Sereno. It's being a person. One man, standing alone, with his will to survive an unchanged life. It's not watered down. There's plenty of killing. There's plenty of of a strive, the strength of unworthiness. All you gotta do is take heed to the warning. Because once you kill once, you'll never be the same. Our lives are a choice. With wicked, wickedness, viciousness, we call ourselves savages. But who can change that? Savageness in our heart. Knowing we only have one will to survive. We get a look up. He starts on war. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. But when I first got involved with the with the, with the North Rasa, I was uh, I was tested. I was tested. I had to uh, I had to uh, I had to um, I had to hit my own boy. I had to I had to stab my own boy. So I went in and I, and I had to I had to cut his throat. You know, this was in San Quentin when I was in West Block. It's my first time in the penitentiary when I when I uh, when I had to it started on the streets. I had to cut a throat on the streets, but I ended up running to him in San Quentin, and they they made me cut a throat. And uh, I felt real bad because I did it to him, you know, because all his family knew my family, and and they were uh, they were um, they were questioning me why I did it, you know what I mean? And uh, so I cut his throat, and uh, and. Uh, in return, he, he, he had got me stabbed a little later in the game, you know, and um, so I, I I didn't really know what emotions were going through my mind, you know, other than, you know, trying to come up in the game, you know, and uh, so I I, um, I ended up getting worse, and I, I ended up liking to stab people, and, and I I, um, I ended up stabbing more people and more people, and, and uh, I, I, it became a, it became easier and easier to do, you know, to draw blood, you know, and um, so this dude, I, I, uh, I cut him and, and uh, his family turned against me, and, and I, I can understand why, but at the time I was, I was like real uprooted, and I was, I was like, you know, I, I hit his family too, you know, and so I, I went out and tried to uh, orchestrate something to kill his family, you know, to take out his family on the streets, you know. And uh, it didn't work. It didn't work because uh, they were up on game, you know. They 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 knew what time it was, you know. They they weren't fresh. They weren't new, new to the game, you know. But if we went and we robbed their house, we robbed them when they were in there. We taped them up with duct tape, and um, we uh, then we uh, we um, well, hold up. They're searching my house right now. I, I gotta go. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, bro. They're searching my house. Okay. Call you back later. All right, bye. All right, okay. All right. I'm gonna see what you're gonna do, alright? Okay. Alright. Alright,